The nine president power to appoint and elect chairman, national commissioners to free commission from partisanship. Jega to lawmakers, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post our GC news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Review Electoral Act to ensure that all cases arising from the conduct of elections are resolved and judgment made before the date of swearing in. A former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INF Prof. Atahiru Jega, has justified why chairman of the electoral body should not be appointed by the president. Jega made the point while speaking at a two-day retreat organized for senators by the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies, NILDS, in Okotek Bene, Akwabam State, on Saturday. The former INEC boss also called for amendment to the Electoral Act 2022. According to him, although Nigeria's current electoral laws could say to be the best in the country's history, it is not perfect and there was the need for further amendments to remove ambiguities, ambiguities, clarify and strengthen some of its sections. The amendment, he said, should make the electronic transmission of results mandatory from the next general elections, which are in 2027. On high-neck leadership, Jagger stressed that the power that the president, rather, should be divested of power to appoint the chairman and national commissioners of INEC to free the commission from partisanship. He said the law should be reviewed to ensure that all cases arising from the conduct of elections are resolved and judgment made before the date of swearing-in. Many stakeholders have expressed concern that Section 64 of the Electoral Act, which states the process of transmission of election result is, sus is susceptible to manipulation and misinterpretation. Jega said that section, Jega said the, uh, the section should be clarified by making electronic transmission of election results compulsory, including uploading of polling unit level results and results sheets used at different levels of results collation. INEC would have had enough time to prepare for this if the act is amended early enough in a suing electoral cycle, he said. Jagger also called for the introduction of either early voting for eligible voters on election duties, such as INEC staff, observers and job drivers, security personnel and journalists, or special arrangements to enable them vote on election day, especially for presidential election. The former INEC boss advocated diaspora voting, at least for presidential election to enable citizens to vote, especially those on essential service abroad. There is a need to enhance the inclusion of women, if necessary, by up to 35% of elective position in parliament and in all political parties candidate list, he added. On cross carpeting politicians, cross carpeting by elected officials, Jega said, should be prescribed not only for members of the National Assembly, but also for elected executive, governors, and chairman of local government. He added that INEC should be empowered to prepare for election to fill the vacancy once it has evidence of the act of cross capitating Jega said there is need to please stringent conditions for candidates' withdrawal and replacement to prevent abuse. Empower INEC to also screen and, if necessary, disqualify candidates whose credentials show that they are unqualified or in respect of whom it has evidence of forgery and other forms of criminality. There is need for the legislation to allow even candidates outside the political parties, as well as taxpaying citizens, to file suit against candidates to provide false information to INEC regarding their candidature. Although Section 132 8 and 9 have given timelines within which tribunals and courts of appellate jurisdiction should issue verdict. There is need, particularly in respect of elected executive positions, to ensure all cases are resolved and judgment made before the date of swearing in. Review the process of appointment into INEC, specifically to divest, minimize the involvement of the president in appointing of INEC chairman of Chairman and National Commissioners of INEC 
in order to free the commission from the damaging negative perception of he who pays the piper dictates the tune. The Justice U.S. Committee recommended that the responsibility for advertising, screening, shortlisting, and submission to Council of State for recommendation to Senate for confirmation hearings for this category of officers should be entrusted to the National Judicial Council, NJC. On second thought, and for obvious reasons, I will recommend a joint committee of the National Assembly be given this responsibility with the criteria for transparency, non-partisanship, and stakeholder engagement for the process. The applicant nominee for those appointments should be subjected to public scrutiny with regards to knowledge, skills, good character, and non-partisanship. Guidelines should be provided for submitting petitions against any nominee during this process. Now, I know a lot of people will come out and they're going to be like, see, Jega, waiting with a talk, you know, are you not the one? Yes, but there is no this crying over spilled milk. At least, no be Jega, and I do this one. This thing will happen now, no be Jega. And believe you me, nobody will give this advice like somebody who has been the annex chairman and who wants to see things actually be done better. I told the people that for every somebody who has gone through a position, you have been an ex-person in that position. I mean, you have been in that position and you have come out. There are many, many lessons you have learned. I just wish, every, see everything, everything with this. I just, as I they read that, they nod my head, say, yes, yes, yes. Even though Jega, yes. Even though Jega was like a tool that was used. But see everything from the president should not be, should, should be stripped of the powers to appoint a new chairman. You know, every, I just, they nod my head. Say, yes. The guy, you know, are you the one who eat bread for me, PC, and vote Jonathan out? Pot calling the care to black. But he is no longer there. Now, him do this one now. No. Everything he's saying, I am nodding my head. But will it be done? <laughs> he says, if it is, is going to be done, it is going to ensure, number one, that there is free and fair election. Number two, who you vote for, now you go come outside. At least the power will be given strictly back to the people. There will be nothing like, um, you know, and just like he suggested, 